One of the other key features with the GR8 1200, you have an option for doing some additional work besides just the battery starter and alternator test. How about a circuit test? If this vehicle had a complaint against the uh, uh, a slow crank, hard crank, and or the battery's not staying charged, we could actually verify the condition of the charging circuit or the starter circuit without having to disassemble anything. What we're gonna do first here, we're gonna go in the menu and go down to the, the voltage drop or cable drop test. So I go down a couple of levels here and move over to cable drop. I'm gonna select that. And we're gonna do the, uh, rather than battery ground, let's just go and do the alternator test. We're gonna show what the cabling is from that alternator. When I select that, it's gonna default to 80 amps. Uh, it's an arbitrary number. If you have a, a, a different number that you know is appropriate for the vehicle you're working on, that's fine. But 80 amps, we've assigned it as kind of a generic for automotive applications. Now what it's going to do though, we're going to take the test clamps that we have for the battery. The battery test clamps and actually hook these up at the alternator. And we've got a separate set of digital multimeter clamps that we're going to plug into the top of the module. And we're going to hook these up at the battery. The way that the test works, we're going to take our battery test signal and inject it at the alternator and essentially measure the loss both positive side and negative side in the circuit going back to the battery. So let's go ahead and go through the menu. It'll show how you do it. It tells you how to connect the clamps. In other words, the main battery test clamps, part of the module, they're going to go on the top of the alternator. And then the sense leads are going to go with the battery. I'll hook those up right now. Okay, the connections are real easy. Once I got that done and I hit next, it's gonna start the test. This test actually takes about 20 seconds because it has to verify four components in the circuit from positive terminal at the alternator to positive battery, positive terminal at the alternator to negative at the battery, and vice versa with the negative side. What we can do is, is ignore the resistance of the battery itself and just look at the circuit integrity on the negative and, and positive side. And when it's all done, it's gonna come back and here we're showing uh, about a half a volt of loss is 0.53 for the circuit at 80 amps. We're going to print that out. And again, you have the option of English, Spanish, or French. We're using English today. When we have that data, again, this would be a way, uh, if I had that slow start or hard start, uh, this would be one indication that uh, if I did this from the starter, for example, uh, I would be able to tell you that, yes, the, the current carrying circuit is fine, but yeah, we do have a starter problem. There's a couple things that none of these tools will ever have. Eyes and ears. We need the professional technician. If you hear a starter that's got misalignment or it's, it's growling or how, you know, howling in some way, you know that there's more work to do. But in this case, we can at least verify that the circuit is intact. There would be a real problem if you went ahead and put a new starter in and still had a slow crank or hard crank because you had a really bad cable set or some corrosion on the negative terminal. So this is one way to eliminate that process and do it quickly and safely uh, without having to get out your multimeter and cranking the engine and doing all the hard work. This does it automatically.